Welcome back to the Rooted Physio and Performance Movement Lab. Today we're going to be going through um, some exercises for knee hypermobility. So we work with a lot of flexible people. Um, for this exercise set or this workout and flow, um, we're really focusing on not allowing the knee to hyperextend. So when the knee hyperextends, it bends straighter or backwards um, more so than it needs to be. So we're going we're to be working on that control of the leg um, all the way from the hip down to the foot. To start off for this exercise set, we're going to go ahead and take our socks off. So I want you to be barefoot. And then we're going to be using a resistance band that's looped around either a door handle or something heavy, maybe a staircase. And we'll also be using the wall today. Okay, let's go ahead and get started for this workout session. We're going to start with some deep breathing on our back. So you can go ahead and lay all the way down. Place one hand over your heart, one hand over your stomach. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. And as you breathe in, just imagine you're filling a balloon with air at your lower stomach, lower abdomen, and as you exhale, you're emptying that completely out. We'll take two more. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale it out. Bring your hands behind your right thigh. We're going to find some active hamstring stretches. So we're going to inhale to straighten the leg, point the toes towards our face, exhale to point the toes away and bend the knee for 10, 9, 8, try to relax the head and the neck, 7, keep your breathing, notice if you are holding your breath. Five more. Last one. And switch sides. Bring the left knee into the chest. We'll inhale to straighten the leg and point the toes towards our face. Exhale to point the toes away and bend the knee. For 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Before you stand up, bring your feet together, bring your inner thighs together, kind of squeeze inwards, pump your ankles a little bit. And then roll to your side and push yourself up. Okay, we're gonna come into a standing position. And we're moving into some standing clamshells. So this is gonna be work at the hip, but also at the leg that's on the ground. Separate your feet about hip distance apart. And what you're gonna do is bring one knee to the wall. So you might have to step forward slightly when you do that. We're thinking about clamshells as this opening of the hip. But we're not allowing this knees, knees to cave in towards each other as we do this. Bring your hands to your hips. Push your left knee out and then start to bring your right knee away from it for 10. Nine. We're also creating a bit of an arch on our standing foot, that left foot. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Excellent job. Go ahead and switch sides. Again, we're gently bending the standing knee, creating an arch lift underneath our standing foot. So my right foot is standing now. Knees start together, but they're not caving inward. I'm not collapsing through my hips. Here we go. That left foot's on the wall. 
And we're gonna peel the knees away from each other and together. Good. And just noticing here, hands on hips allows for a little bit more awareness of where we are in space. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can float your hands away from your hips. That'll make it a little bit more challenging. For three, two, and one. Good job, go ahead and shake that off. Couple calf raises, again, just helps with blood flow, especially in the hypermobile folks. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. We're getting into that little squat with our knees bent, right foot's coming to the wall. And here we go, maybe squatting a little bit lower this time. Two, three, four, Five. Keep your breath moving. Have you held your breath as the knees have gotten harder? Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Shake it out for a moment and switch sides. Again, bending both knees. Here we go. Left knee out to the side. You got this five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna find one more set on each side. Again, if you need, do a couple calf raises. If you tend to get any dizziness with prolonged standing, this just helps with blood flow. You can hold onto the wall as you do that too. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Last time with the right foot on the wall, little squat. Here we go. And again, my hands on my hips also remind me that I don't wanna be rocking and rolling through the hips. I want the hips to stay nice and stable. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job, switch sides. Pressing equally through my big toe and my pinky toe on the standing leg, knee slightly bent. And here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, hey, here we go, making our way. So now we're gonna work on that arch lift exercise for our feet. So if you haven't done an arch lift before, you're thinking about spreading the toes out and just lifting up the inner arch of the foot right through here. We're now gonna apply that to the rest of the hip and knee. So if you think about the hip points, the middle of the knee and the second toe as being a straight line, that's the line we're trying to find. We're gonna allow first our knees to cave in and our uh, arches to flatten. Then we're gonna press into our big toes and try to find that hip, knee, and second toe alignment. Holding here for three, two, one, and relax. And again, pushing the knees inward, letting the arch flatten, and then finding the arch lift knees tracking over second toes. Again, we're not trying to hyper extend our knees, so we're not finding that by shooting the knees back. We're finding it by pushing into our feet and using our hip muscles to bring those leg bones out. Good, let's do eight in real time. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull out. For three, two, one. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull out. Feel free to look down at your knees and feet and relax, five more, push out. Sorry, six more, because I don't know how to count. <laughs> Three, two, one, and relax. Here we go, pull out. Three, two, one, and relax, and pull out. Three, two, one, good. Few more here. Pull out for three, two, one, and relax, and pull out. Breathe, and relax, last one. And relax, go ahead and shake that off. 
All right, we're coming down to our last exercise. So again, we have a long loop band anchored to a door frame. Let's turn here a little bit. And this is where we're going through an exercise called a TKE or terminal knee extension. It's gonna work on that tendency for us to hyperextend. So you're gonna step into the band and place it to the back of your knee and just step away from your door or wherever you're anchored so there's a little bit of resistance on the band. You're gonna let your knee bend slightly and then you're gonna pull back. Again, I'm looking down, trying to make sure I have that hip, knee, and second toe alignment. And then I'm easing off the band for 10, nine, eight. So strong, I'm opening my door. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. I always find the easiest way to switch sides is to step in first and then step out, and then you're already down on the other side. I'm gonna turn slightly just so you can see a different angle. So again, I'm letting the knee bend, and then I'm straightening and holding. I'm not hyperextending the knee. I'm also not letting the knee twist in and relax. And pull back. Two, one, and relax. Eight more. And relax. Seven, and relax. Six, and relax. Five, and relax. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's find one more set on each side. Again, stepping into the band and stepping out with the other leg. Always easiest in my opinion. And here we go. Let the knee bend and straighten. Again, am I letting that knee cave in or am I keeping my hip, knee, and second toe aligned? And relax. Feel free to look down the entire time, especially if this is new. Once you come back to this exercise practice several times, it might be easier to look up and just to imagine where that alignment is. That actually makes it a bit more challenging. Keep moving. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good, step in, step out. Again, holding onto the wall. Okay, and again, that other angle. So again, I'm bending the knee forward over my second toe, even when I bend, and pulling back, keeping that same alignment for 10. Nine. Eight, are you breathing? Deep inhales and exhales. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, go ahead and step out of the band. Coming down onto your back, we're gonna find one last gravity break here as we end. Just tapping back into our breath, getting some blood flow back to the heart. Go ahead and lay on your back. Bring the right knee into the chest, and this time just extending the foot up. Doing a few ankle pumps. This is just where we point and flex the toes back and forth. This helps with getting blood flow back to the heart. Breathe in slow through your nose and out slow through your nose. Release your right leg and switch sides. Just reconnecting to your breath. 
Hopefully you were breathing that whole time, but just a moment to check in and see where you're holding your breath at any time during those exercises. And just an opportunity to know where you are. Maybe next time you find this video, you're focusing on the breathing aspect. Maybe the first time you were focusing just on doing the exercises correctly, right? But you'll return to this video several times and maybe the focus will shift every time. Lower into a fetal position and then slowly push your way up. Again, thank you all so much for joining us in our movement studio online. I hope this flow exercise served you well today. Uh, please leave any comments you have or feel free to reach out to us. Until I see you again, peace.